question. Mr. Show, I'd like to direct your attention to the screen for a short video, if you don't mind. Mr. Show, that video was posted 41 days ago. As you can see, it is captioned me as F at the House Energy and Commerce Committee on March 23rd of this year. This video was posted before this hearing was publicly noticed. I think that's a very interesting point to raise. But more concerning is the fact that it names this chairwoman by name. Your own community guidelines state that you have a firm stance against enabling violence on or off TikTok. We do not allow people to use our platform to threaten or incite violence or to promote violent extremist organizations, individuals, or acts. When there is a threat to public safety or an account is used to promote or glorify off-platform violence, we ban the account. This video has been up for 41 days. It is a direct threat to the chairwoman of this committee, the people in this room, and yet it still remains on the platform. And you expect us to believe that you are capable of maintaining the data security, privacy and security of 150 million Americans where you can't even protect the people in this room? I think that is a blatant display of how vulnerable people who use TikTok are. You couldn't take action after 41 days when a clear threat, a very violent threat to the chairwoman of this committee and the members of this committee was posted on your platform. You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee or the 150 million users of your app because it is an extension of the CCP. And with that, I yield back. Can I respond, Chair? No, we're going to move on.